people are going to think you're my boy toy. Don't say that. 2.3% of the adult population have OCD. Oh, sit, Dad. Forget it. I'll go. Fine. 5% have ADHD. You leave, he wins. Right. What? I'm not go you go. And 54% are ACOD, adult children of divorce. You have both turned a nine-year marriage into a hundred-year war. Thank you for seeing me on such short notice. So, uh, what brings you here? Well, my brother's getting married. What's it been, three or four months? Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. It's been like four months. My parents are, you know, being a nightmare. Please tell me you are not your father's son. If I ever see that woman, I'm gonna kick her in the balls. Your dad, he has a new wife. Wife number three. Bring me my babies. Mommy! I guess I'm just looking for someone to talk to. But I am not a therapist. But you were my therapist. Oh, no, no, no. I saw you as part of a study of the effects of divorce on, on children. Oh. I wrote a book about it. Relax. She didn't use your real name. You are like Robert or something. It's Rick. Rick. You're Rick. You're totally Rick. You know, according to this, Rick is a total disaster. You do realize that Rick now owns a successful business and has a beautiful girlfriend. So you read it. There's no current research about people like you. People like me? ACODs, adult children of divorce. Do you realize you are the least parented generation ever? So how do you two know each other? We're part of a... Book club. Book club. We're in a book club. So you're afraid of making the same mistakes your parents made? No, no. I'm gonna call that echoing. Echoing. No, it's not echoing. And I've just coined a new term, and I think it's clever. Do you know how many men I could have married? A lot of men. And I married your father, who had an adult son the same age as me. Like a year younger than you. You think? Yeah. Congratulations. It's irrelevant. I know you think you know better. That's a trait you get from your father. I do know better. shielded you. You were a last ditch effort to save this marriage. That's a stupid lie. Darling, you were an accident. Good morning, everyone. This is Norwood McClendon reporting. Fort Worth temperature 56 degrees, Dallas 55. Nice day for a motorcade. President and Mrs. Kennedy arrived in Fort Worth from Houston late. Anything you hit on the president's visit you don't like, tell the Secret Service. Their show. The president scheduled two speeches. We're gonna be okay here? Oh yeah, it's a good program. It will now only be a matter of minutes until the arrival. Early lunch today. I want everybody downstairs to see the president. Now they've turned on to Elm Street. Oh, there he is! Officially. It's had just a little pieces. Doctor? Uh, who's the attendant? Right now, it is just you. Do something! It is the president. I know who it is. I need pressure right here! Mr. Zapruder, I'm Forrest Sorrells, United States Secret Service. The film in that camera is the only way we have to know what happened out here today. There are people out there that are ready to start a war. Just picked up somebody in Oak Cliff. They think he's the shooter. The Dallas police just announced the arrest of Lee H. Oswald. Bob? Is that your brother? This guy works at this the local depository. Why the hell do we have it? Those up track and for how long? Do you have any idea what you've done? Mother, your son has apparently killed the most important person in the world. It's my story, too. If I were you, I'd move as far from here as I could. I'd never come back, even to die. Listen, I can't tell you everything right now, but you knew about Oswald. You shouldn't have told me that. You don't want me to know that. It's a very undignified end for a very dignified man. We had the assassin of the president in our office 10 days ago. We had him, and we could have stopped him. Jesus Christ, this was not supposed to happen.
What is it? You got a thing in your butt. This bump in your colon is due to poor stress management. We love seeing you guys. We want grandkids. You gotta learn to relax. It's been a crazy couple of weeks at work. I just want you to be straight with them. You want me to fire this guy today? You'll do fine. Oh! oh. Again with your damn stuff. Shut up and eat your damn dinner, son! I hate you! Ah. Again, I'm pregnant. Whoa! Pushed into a corner by someone. I'm looking on your computer. I think I may have deleted something important. What? This creature comes out and attacks that someone. This thing is a part of you. What are you talking about? It's a metaphor. This is the furthest thing from a metaphor. Oh my God, what is it? Wow. Stomach flu? Yeah. Right. Where are you? I'm knocking. But no one's home. Bond with it. And if I do, it won't hurt anybody else. Hopefully. Oh, Milo? Milo? I had a much better name. you to make this place proud but gambling is forbidden on campus i owe 60 grand tuition due next week and that's if i don't eat change your tune or you won't have a school to pay for is your plan to gamble for your tuition money it must be really nice to have your education paid for i've been three tabling statistically it's the right play <laughs> this is the one you wait for maybe he was waiting for you Look how far outside the normal win rates the guys would beat you are. I was cheated. Forced to move offshore is one of the internet's dirty little secrets. Online poker. You're about to jet off to a country you've never been to with a language you do not speak. Do you have any idea how crazy this is? Richie first. This is the house. Why the house? The house always wins. Which is why we don't have to cheat people. But the math is right. Am I missing something? No. Programmers decided to write a backdoor into the code. You saw it. Game to me. That's a little something for your troubles. Plus, of course, you like sticking around and taking a shot at a real business. Guaranteed seven figures in the first 18 months. Excited to see you spend it. What do you say? What do you think? This is the place. All things are possible. Call me Agent Shavers. The FBI's into the kidnapping business now? You work for me. What are you talking about? Bribing an official. Racketeer. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. Just ask yourself, are you doing something wrong? Are we? Why is the FBI all over me? He's jealous. He sees what you have, he sees what you're gonna have, and he's plugging it away for chump change. You let me walk right into it, Ivan. This is your job. You want a clear conscience? Go start a charity. But if you want your own island, and your boss says you gotta go out there and take a beating, go out there, take it, come back to work, and say, do you need me to do it again? You have 48 hours. Get us the evidence on block. What I have to do to get out of this, I can't do it alone. You know I'm with you. Those are crocodiles. You know, at the casino, when they give you chips, they say, good luck, sir. They don't tell you. That sir means dummy. And good luck means... <laughs> What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Explore B.
been hit. Explore. Do you read? Ah! Explore. Ah! Over. Explore. Ah! Astronaut is off structure. What do I do? Dr. Stone is off structure. Ah! What do I do? Dr. Stone is detached. No! You must detach. Ah! If you don't detach, that arm's gonna carry you too far. Ah! Listen to my voice. You need to focus. Yes! I'm losing visual of you. In a few seconds, I won't be able to track you. Ah! You need to detach. I can't see you anymore. Do it now. Is there somebody down there looking up, thinking about you? I had a daughter. A little girl with brown hair. Tell her that I'm not quitting. from my town sitting waiting for me. I didn't know that she was from your town. Who's Eleanor? And why did he say you don't discipline? All these high. We sometimes have to manage expectations. When I woke up this morning, I thought, Pilates? Or a soy tea latte in the city with Eleanor? Through structures. Kiss me. The cold ground. I'm not stalking you, I swear. You lost in the muted life of this town. Hey. We're gonna have a little secret. I'm okay with that. You don't have to do this anymore. Well, it's just not you. Something has to be me by now. Thank you.